To sit the ADR exam, you must study for one week with a recognized ADR provider. You can find this list on the CILT website. I'm Leon Clifton. ADR Tanker Specialization, this is test two, April 2023. Okay, pressure discharge is used to unload some tankers. This involves involves pressure. Pressure is not pumping. Pumping is pumping. Gravity is gravity. Pendulum is made up. When you pressure, you put air, gas or vapor into a tank to push out the air, gas or vapor that's in the tank. Okay. Hang on a second. What is that? Why is it saying got to remove that? Hang on, sorry, it's, it's, it's saying I've got to take off some box or something. Don't know what is going on here now. Can you see that okay, yeah? Uh, there's a couple of little black boxes on it. Guess you'll be going now in a second. Yeah. Okay, now, yeah? Yeah, that's good. Okay. What function is carried out by the fusible element on a tanker? Automatically turns off the heating devices when the temperature of the product is too high. Yeah, you're thinking of fuse well element as like a fuse and a plug. So I can I can understand that, yeah. But fuse well element in ADR automatically turns off the heating devices when temperatures of the product is too high. It's to protect the product. Okay? Mm -hmm. How many orange colored plates are required on a demountable tank with three tanks with three different classes? When you have three different products uh, on the tank, you can have one on each side of each of the three tanks. So how many is that? Six. And one on the front and one on the back? Eight. You're never going to get a question that difficult in the ADR exam, okay? Morp. What does that stand for? Maximum pressure allowed for the discharge. Maximum allowable working pressure. Man lids on tanks cannot be left open other than the product is volatile and makes no sense when bottom filling and discharging. No, during carriage, so you leave them open while you're driving. That makes no sense. The only times you can have those man lids open, guys, is when you're loading the, the fuel, when you're top loading, okay? Any other time they're gonna be closed. <coughs> Yeah. 
method. Seven thousand five hundred litre capacity with no baffles or surge plates must be filled to the minimum of what's the rule of thumb? So twenty eighty rule, yeah. Now we know we need to leave at least three percent for petrol. Three percent what? Um, all in all in all so you can only fill it to 97. I don't know, butane, you need at least 15% uh, of a gap, but that's not the question. Okay. Let's start. What's the rule of thumb for filling them up? Less than 20%, more than 80%. A single substance. Oh, that's a bit tricky because it's not numbered placards, it's numbered plates, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Well done. It's numbered plates on front and back. Numbered orange plates, not placards. Placards are the diamonds. Number plates front and rear, placards on the back and the sides. Again, you're not going to get a question that complicated. Ullage space in a tanker. What does it allow for, Ullage? Movement. Movement is the last thing you want, isn't it? Maximum filling level. Ooh. Two minds about this one. Well, it's always between 85 and 97 percent, isn't it? You wouldn't go over 97 percent, would you? No, even, but I thought even the petrol, yellow which, answer. Petrol is an atmospheric really tank, not. so it's not even pressurized, but you can't go more than 97%. And butane would be 85%, which expands. I can't, don't think anything else expands <clears> more than 15%. Which ones you stuck on, Logan? I was thinking, I was, yeah. I was, I don't know, I was getting uh, the yellow answer. I was thinking there was something to that there. No. Linked to a specific gravity of the liquid. No. Yeah, okay. You're you looking into that one too deep, I think. Yeah, I think so. Remember Occam's razor, guys. The easiest and the most obvious answer is usually the correct one. Minimum ullage space required for liquid fuels. We just discussed that. Which is true. Clearance of at least 100 mil, so that's 10 centimeters between the rear of the tank and the rear bumper. That I was missing, yeah? What else do you need 10 centimeters gap on the top? Um, the overhang <laughs> on the side is 150 mils. Yeah, but what do you need 10 centimeters gap? 100 mil. Between the gap and the head of the, tr of the bed. The truck and the head of the bed. No. Oh. What gets hot on the truck? Exhaust? Yes. Do the 10 centimetre clearance between the exhaust and the tank, don't you? At least mm. minimum. When do excess flow valve excess flow valves operate in a gas tanker during discharge? Good flow back into the tank. How will it flow back into the tank? I don't understand, that's weird. In the event of a hose pipe bursting, a hose or a pipe bursting, the, the, the product will come shooting out, won't it? Yeah? Do, do we all agree on that? Yep. Yeah. So the <clears throat> valve will detect that excess flow, too much is coming out, and it will immediately shut off, hopefully. Oh, yeah. 
function of the pressure relief valve fitted to a gas tank. Filling ratio for tanks, yes. 28 was a bit of a trap. That's the general rule of thumb. Okay, that wasn't the question. The question was, what's the maximum filling ratio? It's 85% for butane, 97% for petrol. So the filling ratio is somewhere between 85 and 97%. Bursting discs are primarily fitted to tanks for which purpose? The answer is to protect the relief valve, okay? You can just memorize that one if you don't understand it. Bursting discs burst and you go, oh crap, there's too much pressure there. They're there to protect relief valves. I had this question earlier. Air to escape atmospheric tanks. No pressure in an atmospheric tank, is there? Nope. Same thing allows air into your room. Yes, vents. Pressure valves, vents on a tanker. Prevent rupture, implosions of a tank, and loss of liquid in a rollover, yes. What is a cryogenic tank designed and constructed to transport? Cryogenics. Cryonics is the study of freezing humans, and cryogenics is the study of freezing things. What item of equipment detects too fast a flow? We've just done that one. Excess flow, an excess flow valve. A purge compartment in a tank and must display what? It's been purged. What does purge mean? What does clean. purge mean? Clean, yes. Clean. Purge, fumigated, clean. It's clean, so you shouldn't have any plates on it, should you? It's just a clean tank. Placards are always on the side and the back. Okay? Placards are always on both sides and the back. I can't think of a situation where you wouldn't have a placard on both sides and the back. Orange plates are on the front and back, yeah? Mm. But if you have a tanker with like three compartments, you'll also have one on each side of each of the tanker compartments, each of the pods. But generally speaking, uh, Generally speaking, you're always going to have them on the sides of the back. So on a tank container where the placard is displayed in the front, the sides and the back. On the tank container. Why is it on a tank container? Because they stack. Because they stack them up, yeah. You don't know what size is going to be visible. That's the container, not the transport.
To prevent contents escaping from the tank due to outlet valve damage, tanks may be fitted with. I don't know just why he said that. To prevent contents escaping while you fit an external valve, whatever that is. Okay, it's a foot valve, it's that emergency shut off, foot valve, base valve, belly valve. Mm. What may cause a pressure relief device to operate? So that is saying what causes pressure, isn't it? Isn't that the question there? Yeah. On a liquid fuel tank, the ADR allows to display the numbered orange plates front and rear for which fuel? You're getting your highest and lowest flash points confused, yeah? Yeah. What's more dangerous, diesel or petrol? Petrol. petrol. Because it has oh, a very, very low flash point, minus 40, isn't it? Wasn't it minus 65? 165. Sorry? What's minus 65? I thought that was, it was no, minus 65. No, diesel is plus 65. Oh, uh, so it has to be at least 65 degrees to get fuel uh, diesel to light. It's quite hot, isn't it, 65 degrees? Yeah. Now, it will burn, but it's very hot. You wouldn't use it to start a fire, you know? Yeah. It's not an accelerant. After tank has been unloaded, what must be displayed for the return journey? Exactly the same plates and placards as the outward journey. It's being unloaded, it's not being cleaned. So all the ADR rules still apply until that has been cleaned, purged, or fumigated. Okay. Which of the following is an example of hermetically sealed tank? Not just sealed, but hermetically sealed. It's this one here. It's the best one you can think. The seal with its nut lid. <laughs> vapor tight tank. Yes, it is vapor tight, but that's not hermetically sealed. A tank that can be mainly sealed with a bursting. Okay. It's a tank fitted with a pressure or safety valve preceded by a bursting disc. Remember the bursting disc there? Protect the pressure yeah. valve. Yeah. It's hermetically sealed after the Greek god Hermes, who's the very, very clever one. Wing feet. What document is used to monitor the delivery of petroleum to fill these? Oh, that's the Schedule 4. You don't need to know that one. Orange, Schedule 4. That is not going to come up. Hi, guys. Thanks for liking and subscribing to my channel. And liking my videos helps other people find them.